This is the image that we're going to be looking at most often in this tutorial, where we can see the suprolateral section of the right eye and the right nose cut in section. We're looking at the lacrimal apparatus on this person's right side. Many superficial structures have been removed, so we can see the deeper components of the lacrimal apparatus. I'll point these out as we go along. Looking in the suprolateral aspect, we can now see a bone highlighted in green. This is part of the frontal bone. The frontal bone has been resected slightly to see the underlying structures. Let's peel off the skin and muscles for a moment and have a look at the bones underneath. The image now on the right shows more of the frontal bone, which is orange in colour. The section highlighted in green is the zygomatic process of the frontal bone and corresponds to the resected section on the image on the left. It's tucked behind here that we'll find the lacrimal gland, which we'll identify shortly. Moving to the nasal cavity, we can see right into it. The skin and cartilage have been removed, as has the nasal bone. What we can see highlighted in green now, and in our pop-out, is the middle nasal concha. This is a projection of the ethmoid bone into the nasal cavity. This image on the right is of an isolated ethmoid bone. Quite the funky bone, hey? The middle nasal conchae are highlighted in green, one on either side. The bony projection in the middle is the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone, which makes up part of the nasal septum. Therefore, it is in the midline of the skull. The middle nasal conchae are on either side of the nasal cavity, projecting inwards from the lateral walls. In this new image, we're looking at a mid-sagittal section of the skull, with the nasal septum removed. The nasal cavity is here, and within it we can see the middle nasal concha highlighted in green. Inferior to the middle nasal concha is the inferior nasal concha. This is an independent bone, rather than a projection of another. Similar to the middle nasal concha, however, it projects medially into the nasal cavity, leaving a space beneath it. Again, switching it up to this mid-sagittal section, we can see the inferior nasal concha in the nasal cavity, inferior to the middle nasal concha that we identified earlier. The space beneath the inferior nasal concha is called the inferior nasal meatus. This is an important space in the lacrimal apparatus, serving as the end or drainage point of the system. If you found this quick anatomy or physiology video helpful, you'll enjoy our video tutorials even more. Click on the button and you'll see what I mean. We have hundreds of videos available to our premium members, not to mention all the fun quizzes, complete articles and atlas sections to solidify your knowledge. Click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy and physiology.